Hello, uh, everyone. So, we will today learn about the basics of PowerPoint. Last time we did the Microsoft Word. And after this lecture, it will be 30 minutes. Then I will go through your assignments that I gave you last time about us, about like few sentences on my best friend on Microsoft Word. So now I will share my screen and we can go from there. Okay. So give me one second. Let me close this here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so today we are going to learn about Microsoft PowerPoint. What is Microsoft PowerPoint and what is it for? Microsoft PowerPoint is basically um, about presentation, preparing your presentation, preparing your lectures, okay? I, you, you don't need to prepare your lectures because you all are students, but you definitely need to do, prepare your presentations. For example, when you have a science project or when you have any other project or even related to your business or business summary, then and if you are going somewhere to present it then you prepare your slides and that's what you do it on microsoft powerpoint so when i go to microsoft powerpoint i will click the blank presentation in microsoft word we call it a page in microsoft powerpoint we call it a slide for example this is my slide number one when i enter this is my slide number two. This is my slide number three. Slide number slides are equivalent to the pages in Microsoft Word. Okay. For example, in Microsoft Word, uh, there is page one, page two, page three. In PowerPoint, it is slide one, slide two, slide three. When I click slide one, we can see that few things appear here. You see? This is because this is how I set it up in my master layout. You can change the master layout also, but we will discuss it more in our um, advanced level. <clears throat> now let's prepare something. Let's prepare about some topic. Which topic you would like to choose? For example, let's choose, <coughs> let's choose about <clears throat> any subject that you like for example let's have covid 19 okay let's choose the to topic covid 19 so if you see i typed here the main title so first box is always for the main title where you type it and the toolbar is same you see this ribbon on the top which is running here let me put it like this. So this toolbar is always same <clears throat> in PowerPoint, in Excel also, and in Word also. You see, we last time we learned, <clears throat> sorry, how to uh, write down the text. Just give me one second. I need to drink some water. So. Okay, so I'm back. I'm sorry about it. So uh, this toolbar is same, which is for the title writing. You see here we selected last time the <clears throat> font style, font size, and this is, was the to make it a bold, to make it italic, to make it underlined, font color, font highlighting, case, uppercase, lowercase, strike through and many other things right so this is the main title of your presentation which can be anything we are making it covid19 
situation in Ghana. So I will select it. You see my mouse is at the end. I will press shift. Oh, I forgot to prepare, make the keyboard, but anyway, I will show you at the end. So just select it and I will make it bold because title looks bold. Now here you type anything. You can type your name. For example, Isaac is preparing this presentation. So it will he will write by Isaac. Okay. So this is the slide number first or the title page. Okay. Now we go to the slide number two. So how you go to the slide number two? I went, I here is my mouse. I move my mouse on your left hand side to slide number two, and I had clicked one time on your left mouse. Okay. So here you go. So here is now your first slide or your first page. <laughs> So what would you write on the first page? Background. Background on the situation of COVID-19, right? It is a title. So you will select it and you will go above and you will make it bold. Now let's go down. So what is the title? For example, you can write that COVID-19 pandemic started in March 2021, comma, in Ghana. Now you want to go to the next line. So what will you do? You will hit enter, okay? And when you hit enter, then you can write, for example, uh, there was a lockdown situation in Ghana for more than a year. Now I want to go to the next slide. Again enter, okay? Vaccinations are recommended for COVID-19 immunization. Okay, now you want to go to the next slide, but you don't want to have a bullet point because you want to maybe write something else. So you can just go backspace on your keyboard. Okay, like we saw last time where the backspace is. So you can just write note, all must follow. COVID-19 protocol and must get vaccinations, okay? Okay, and now I would like to make it italic because it's a note. I will make it italic. I can even make it red color because this is important thing. Now let's go to the next slide. So what would be the next slide? We can make it as a current pandemic situation, current pandemic in Ghana. So current pandemic situation or something we can write even situation. So this is another slide. So this is another slide. We can select it and we can make it bold and then you can add the points as you like. Maybe we can write, we would like to write a table for the situation, right? So how to insert the table? So you go on the top ribbon. You go to the, your left hand side on the top where you see my mouse is going. You see the next to the home, there is insert. Now I will go to here. I will click the table. I will click the columns. I will go down and I will select the ray, rows. Here we have the table. I will show you again how I did it. Let me go back. So I told you how to go back, right? Last time on the top ribbon, this orange reddish ribbon, on your left hand side, there are two arrows. One is redo, one is undo. So I will click undo 
and the table will be gone. I will show you again how to insert it. So here is the table. You click this table arrow. You then select how many columns you need. And then you select how many rows you need. Here goes the table. Okay. You can even write in table. For example, what is, uh, you can write here the date. Okay. Then you can write here, for example, the city. You can write here number of patients. You can write here number of people who got vaccinated. You can write here also uh, number of recovered cases. You can also write here name of vaccinations. Okay. Here maybe you can write any date. Okay. How to go to the next? You can use the arrow keys or you can use your mouse. You see, I am moving my mouse over the top and I'm just clicking one left. One left. And I want to go to this cell in table. Each box is called as a cell. Okay. So I am moving to the, for example, I want to go to this cell. So I will click one left. I want to go to this cell. I will click one left. I want to go to this cell. I will click one left. Now I want to go back here. I will click here. And what is the date? For example, we can write 15th November 2021. And now I want to go down, click one left, 20 November 2021. You can also use, you remember we saw four arrow keys. So you can also use the arrow key. Down, side, up, side, side, left side, right side, down side, up side. Okay. You can also move like this way. Down side. So. 25, 11, 2021, these are the dates. How I wrote the dates? Date, month, year. Now, different countries have different system how to write the date. For example, in US, in United States, you write the month before, then you write the date, and then you write the year. But in all other countries, it is different. You write the month before, then you write, so you write the date before, then you write the month, and then you write the year. <coughs> now city, let's write. Tha ma le. Okay. Mimi akra. I don't know other cities in Ghana. So you can write as many as you want. Now, what else we can do in this table to make it look beautiful? So you see, when I move my mouse around on the table, when I go to the edges, like the borderline, the borderline of the box, it converts into the four arrows. Let me make it bigger for you so you can see. So when I move, you see, it converts into the four arrows. Like, let me do go to yeah, and like this. Okay, so you have to move your mouse on the top of the table, click one left, and you see these circles appeared. And not only these circles, these four arrows also appeared. You see, it is it looks like a four arrow. You see, it's like a let me do it again. Double arrow. You see one, two, three, four arrow sides. When it appears, click one left and your table will be selected. When your table is selected, you see here is a table design. It appeared right on the top ribbon. You click one left. You go here. Here are so many table styles now. So let me make it smaller now. 
So let's select which table style you want. So let's select some sort, some uh, something like this maybe. Or this, this. Okay, let's select this one. Uh, okay. So when you select this, you see, so the design has changed, but you can still modify this design, okay? So you go above same way and you click one left when your mouse is on the table. Then you move towards the edges and you select the table. You go back to the table. First of all, you go back to the table design and you can uh, go to actually layout. I wanted to show you how to go to the cells. So you see my date is written here in the top left corner of this cell. City is written in the top left corner. I want to make it in the center of the cell. So this is the cell alignment area on your top ribbon, you see? And let me make it smaller so you can see it here. Now, here I will move it to the middle, okay? Because I want to move all the text in the middle. So you see, it is all in the middle, but it is still on the side. It is in the middle, but it is on the left hand side. So I will then use this one, center, center your content. And now my all data is in the center of cells. And this is what I wanted. Now, let me show you how to control and change the colors, okay? Of your cells, for example, let me go back. So here I select the top row. I go to the table design and then here is the shading. So I can even choose the color I want. Maybe I will choose this color. I like this color. So I will choose this color. You can even choose the color of any line. These are, this is called as row. You see, this is called as row, which I am selecting. This is called as column column is more vertical you see here these are columns and rows are more horizontal okay now let's go and make some boundaries so let's select the whole table go to the border you see here the borders i want to have all borders when i click this you see the border of the tables appeared now and you see when i don't select the table the table design and layout disappear on the top ribbon but when i will select the table it appears so when i will not i will click anywhere else it will disappear now one thing more i would like to show you on the table for example <laughs> now for example by chance if you hit enter right you can always click the backspace too but you can do one more thing you see here when i move this uh my mouse to the near the lines on the lines you see on this line for example it appears to two arrows and two double lines you see these are the two let me make it bigger it appears into the two lines and two arrows so when you click this, actually, let me go back and let me show you this way. If you click this, then you can drag it actually to anywhere. So for example, how you drag it, you place your mouse and when it, it appears into two double lines and two double arrows, you click one left on your mouse. And you see when I clicked one left on my mouse and I am still my finger is on the left hand side of the mouse it i'm still pressing that side so now i will use my finger and with another hand my one hand is still on the left hand side of the mouse and i am moving my finger to here or to here wherever i want i want it to this side and when i think this is the right one i will release my other hand which is on the left hand side of the mouse and I released it and you see 
this line has moved okay i can even move it more let's do it again and i released it this is how i you can move the size you can adjust the size of your table okay even here let's do this one like this let's move it a little bit more like this we can even adjust our all table like that okay let's do it even because number of patients would not mind it uh okay and here you go okay this is how you do now also when there are the four arrows you see these four arrows like double sided two arrows so we can even move it how you move it you click one left and then you use the other finger and you move it you see and you can and when i move you can see the red lines appear on the slide these red lines show me if my table is in the alignment or not for example you see this big red line appeared in the middle it means my table is in the middle of the slide and that's what i want and i will leave it there now let's go and see the background color this is i will i will only show you the background color today and then i will actually stop it and i will see if there are any questions so because this is very plain we want to when you are giving a lecture you can see my background now my background is all blue this i prepared also on the microsoft powerpoint so i want it to when i am giving a lecture i would like my slides to look beautiful right to look more attractive so how to do that let's go to the first slide and let's go to design you see on the top design and you can do many things you can design the slides as you want okay and you can also choose what is already in the powerpoint i will show you in next level how to insert the pictures and how to make it more beautiful okay so here you go the down arrow and you can select the style you want to have i would like to have this style i like this style you see when i selected that style everything changed but it is also giving me design ideas on my right hand side i can even choose these design ideas you see i can click see more design ideas and i can see more of the design ideas so these are all that it is showing me i think i like this one more because this is looking more different and good style right let's go to the style number slide number two and see if it is showing us the design ideas wow these are so cool designs so let's select some of the designs from here uh i would like to choose to be inconsistent with my powerpoint i will either choose this one or i will choose this one i think i like this one more so you see this is the design it looks beautiful right <clears throat> let's go to the third one and let's see which design ideas it is giving me and let's go down and i think i will go with uh this one because then i can show you one more thing today so let's go let's see if there is anything else coming i think i will go with this one okay i chose this design because i would like to show you one more thing <clears throat> here we have a box on the side right i think i can show you how to insert the picture also let me actually see uh we i go to insert i go to the 3d model <clears throat> you can choose 3d model you can insert the picture you can insert the icon okay here i can add for example vaccine let's see if anything comes up nothing comes up okay let's see virus here comes the virus but it is not covid 19 right 
So uh, let's select this anyway. So it will take a time. And you see, this is a virus. Now you see in the middle, this is 3D. We chose 3D picture, which was already in the stock on the PowerPoint. You see, there are the arrows in the middle. When I put my mouse in the middle, I can move it around as I like. So I would like to have it uh, this way because then I want to add one more thing. So I would like to have, you see the, this half, this one arrow on the top, it is to rotate it, okay, to position it. In the middle is to show all the sides, okay. So I will make it like, this way more and if i put it my mouse on the side on the lines not on the arrows then double sided or four arrows come so i will which is to drag it to position it somewhere so i will put it here and i will move it a little bit more like this then now it is 3d you i will show you in the next level how to change it into the picture because i think that is too much for today so let me move it a little bit more here and let me go to insert. Let's go to the icons because I would like to have one syringe. You can have syringe from here. Choose it and insert it. So syringe is there, right? It is the vaccination. You can either choose it from icons or I think it is also available in 3D models. So let's see if 3D model syringe is available. Oh, it is available actually. So let's select this one and insert. Let's see which one looks beautiful. We can choose that one, okay? Okay, well, this is also cool. So probably we can choose this one and with icon we can play next time. So when I, you see, when for these four arrows, I can move it around and to make it smaller. You see these circles? What are these circles for when they appear? Anywhere on the table also they appear. Here also these circles appear. These circles are to reduce the size, make it bigger, make it smaller, increase or reduce. So when I click this, on these circles, it is only double-sided one arrow. <clears throat> so I can make it smaller. I can make it bigger. How I do it? <clears throat> when I put my mouse here on the top and this arrow appear, I press my left hand side mouse and I drag it with the finger. You see, I am dragging it with my another finger and I'm still pressing the left hand side of the mouse. So I am dragging it and I'm doing it. Okay. So it is becoming smaller and bigger. I can even rotate it, you see? This way you can rotate it. This way you can even rotate it this way. And I can put it here on the side because it is about vaccinations, right? I can even move it wherever I want, just the same way as I showed you. Now I would like to fix my table here. I will move it and now the same way. When the double lines appear, I want to see where it is not good. You see, D is separate for vaccinated. I don't want it to be like this. So I will drag it a little bit here. And now it is on the one line. Same way, I will drag this one too. And this is gone. And you see, it looks much, much, much better now. Now I will stop it here and you you would like to save it right this project at the end now how i did this uh my slides bigger and smaller if you see down in the bottom of your slides you see where my mouse is going here is minus here is plus when i click plus it becomes bigger 
when I click left side of the mouse, when I click right, it becomes smaller. Okay. Bigger, smaller. And we can even see the presenter view. So we go to the slide number one. We go to the bottom. We click this slideshow. You see, it is so big now. So here is our slide. So it looks nice, right? It looks good presentation. Now I want to go back. Then hit the escape button. I will uh, talk to you later after this on your keyboard. And it is escaped. Now you want to save it. So you go to file, left click, and then save as, left click. Then you go to my PC, left click. Then you go to more options, left click. Then you go to your desktop, left click. Then you name it. Uh, I think this name is okay, COVID-19 situations in Ghana. And if you click this one where it is written PowerPoint presentation, arrow, left click, so many options will open. In advanced level, I will show you how to make a video and how to save it as a picture. Maybe that we can cover in intermediate level and how to make GIF or PNG. So I will go back and I will save it. It's saved. Now I will close it here on your top right hand side corner. Left click and it is saved here somewhere. It is saved here. Left click or maybe right uh, and then hit enter on your keyboard. It will open. It is just taking little time for me. So, or let me close it and let me show you another way to open it. Right click on your mouse and open it. So you can, when, when it comes to open, then click left and it will open. Okay, so there are two ways to open it. So here, your presentation is opened again and it is ready for you to work over it. Okay. Now, uh, let it load because I will stop sharing my screen and I would like to ask you if you can locate where is the escape button on your keyboard. It is written as E, S and C. Let me remove the spotlight and let me go to or let me put a uh, spotlight on YouTube. Okay. And okay, so where is the escape button? Yes, it is ESC. Perfect. Good. So uh, now I will come back to my assignment that I gave you last time. And that assignment was about my best friend. Who wrote the my best friend? Who wrote it? Anyone wrote the My Best Friend last time? On Microsoft Word, did you get a chance? Oh, Microsoft Word, did you get a chance? Oh, our wrote um, his own. He and said you, so we are here to send it to you. Okay. Okay, what did you learn today? Okay, Can anyone tell me what is his PowerPoint is about? Tell me, what PowerPoint is about? Uh, what is PowerPoint? What PowerPoint? Do you use PowerPoint for? We did application software and their uses. PowerPoint is used for what? Who can answer this? What is PowerPoint about? Yeah, yeah, someone is saying. Yeah, yeah, tell me. Who is raising the hand? Oh, there is a hand in the back side. Okay. Yes. It's used for presentation. Yes, excellent. It is for presentation, right? So 
uh, in Microsoft Word, we call it page number one, page number two, page number three. What we call these pages in PowerPoint? What are these pages called in PowerPoint? Do you remember? Yeah. What? Slide. Slide. Yes. Yeah. These are called as slide number one, slide number two, slide number three. Okay. Now I have one question. Uh, in table, when you insert the table, when you want to move the okay, what is the column and what is the row? Do you know what is column and what is row? Okay, column is this side, this way, or column is this way? Which way is column? You can show with your hands. Column is this way or column is this way? This way or this way? Which way? Okay, yeah, this way. It's vertical, right? And rows are this way or rows are this way? Yeah, it's, it's horizontal, right? This way, it's the row. Now, I have one more question. Once you insert the table, then you remember when I was moving my mouse, double lines appeared like this with arrows on the side, double lines. So which those parallel, they were like parallel like this, but they were near the lines or near the borders of the table. So when these double lines appeared, what does that mean? How what you can do when they appear? What you can do? Do you know? Do you remember anything? No? <laughs> okay. Those double lines were to make the column bigger or smaller. Or you can drag the line to your right hand side or to your left hand side. Okay. Now when I moved my mouse or around on the table, you saw that four arrows came, like double-sided two arrows, like this. And there were arrows on all four sides, like this. What that was about? What you can do with that? You know that? No? Okay. So when that appears, you can move it around, okay? You can move the table around. And then there was another thing, another type of the arrow came. There were the circles on the sides of table. When you put those, you move your mouse and it comes, then there was only one double-sided arrow came, right? It was also, it also appeared on the pictures. What that was about? Okay, I think I will show you on pictures, Maureen is right. So that was about to make it smaller or bigger. Let me show you the table again. Let me share my screen and let's go back to the tables. Because tables are something that you are going to work a lot. So you really need to understand how it works, okay? So now see it clearly. There are three types of the arrows that appear on table or on pictures. Let me make my slide bigger. Wait, let me move you here and uh, let me make my slide bigger. Oh, sorry. Uh, so let's play with it here. When I move my mouse, you see here, these double lines appear. Let me make it more bigger. You see, they are the two parallel lines that appear like this. If you see me on camera, you can see that I mean this way. Let me actually, you know, uh, first stop sharing my screen. Let me put the spotlight on me so that when you see the recording, you can see it clearly. And let me share my screen again. So now, because you can then see how I'm doing it. So here, if you see me on the camera and you see these lines appear like this way, like parallel, okay? So I left click 
and with this hand i am still pressing the left side of the mouse with other hand i am moving it right or left to make it bigger to make it smaller to move it okay the other side of the arrow other type of the arrow i was talking to you about like this way like a plus sign you know like the add addition sign in mathematics when you add things or when you make the things plus sign like this and it has arrows on all sides like four arrows you see here when i move to the end it appears like this here uh because of the slight color maybe you cannot see but you see there is one arrow on this side one arrow on the top one arrow here one arrow on the bottom there are four arrows let me make it even bigger if you can see you see here so when you when this arrow appears you again press the left side of your mouse on mouse and then you move with your other fingers and you are moving the table or picture anything they it is the arrows are same okay the only arrows that are missing in the pictures are these double arrows parallel arrows okay the other arrows are same in pictures too now you see there are the circles on the table so when i move my mouse on the circle it appears to this type of the arrow one line with one arrow head here one arrow head here right this is to make it smaller or bigger so same way left hand side you are pressing the mouse right hand side you are dragging it to make it smaller or bigger the table will be smaller or bigger okay for example let's drag it from the bottom i am pressing the left hand side and i am dragging it you see i am making it smaller and bigger same goes with the pictures when i select it on this you see this one line arrow came you see here and i can make this picture smaller i can make this picture bigger and when i move it on the line this cross one arrow came with four arrow heads so i this is to move it around okay so the only arrow that is missing in the picture is this parallel one which is only present in tables okay now let me sorry let me stop stop sharing my screen and close this okay don't save okay now i am back here and uh, now tell me did you learn what these arrows are about could you get it this is very important for you because you are going to make multiple tables on your powerpoint in your whole life even when you start your job press powerpoint this basic table making is going with you throughout your life basically you are going to use it multiple times almost every week or every month also you are going to play with the pictures like how to insert and make size bigger and smaller so it is very important that you learn how to play with these arrows so for powerpoint for next time i'm giving you this assignment for me this is very important that i know if you have if you got this right how to make these tables okay so uh make three slides three slides powerpoint next time and let me know uh and then probably we can get from there also at the end of our all sessions like beginner intermediate and advanced because you all are students and you are also young in school i will prepare the notes for you you know which you can read 
what for some i will notes like i will put some bullet points like this arrow is for this this arrow is for this how to play with this arrow like i will only i will not write everything there but i will write the most important points so that you can keep it with you and you can play with it okay all good or not why are uh, your face why your face is like <laughs> it's not something you know okay i took a very nice screenshot okay uh anything else that you would like to talk all good how's your day today it's all fine it's fine it's going well how was your school yes how was your school who can tell me um uh, who can describe a, in few sentences what uh, you did in school who can who can do that like you can tell me i went to school i did that i did that then i came back home then it was like this and then i came here who will do that who will communicate this would be something how you communicate with other people right so who would do that anyone okay okay you can do that yeah i can see the finger there so go ahead okay i think there is internet problem yeah go ahead and uh, just say who is going to do me me okay mm -hmm. who is me okay just go ahead and introduce you for example if you have to go to school or somewhere how will you introduce yourself just introduce yourself and tell me hmm. My name is Satwak Musa. 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 And when I went, and when I came to school today, we learned English first, and it was interesting. Okay. And what is your favorite subject in school? After that, we learned ICT. We learned about how to learn, how to log into my. How to launch, how to log into Microsoft. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. Okay, that's very nice. You see, that's very nice. He gave his introduction. What's going on? Okay. Listen, everyone, when you have to introduce yourself, never ever hesitate what you want to say. Have full confidence in yourself and always listen to your tone, okay? Be full confident and you did a very good job. Whoever was me, that person, that student did a very good job to, for introduction, okay? I don't see you on that student now, but it was a good job you can always speak always ask questions and have confidence okay the more you ask the more you speak the more you communicate the more you will learn in your life you should not be afraid if you are asking a right question or if you are saying something right okay i think that's all i will end the session here and uh, i wish you all a very 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 good day ahead 
and you all are going back home enjoy your time with your families and take care okay bye 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 thank you thank you so much thank you you're welcome bye bye you are welcome take care have a great day okay thank you see you next time <laughs>